The Berenstain Bears Learning at Home, Volume 2. Yes, you heard that right. It's a Berenstain Bears game being played by me, Zan. Yep, Bears Learning at learning Home, Volume 2. Another game from my childhood that's not here on YouTube yet. Do those singers sound familiar? That's, a, that's George Alistair Sanger, a.k.a. the Fat Man with Team Fat. They're performing the theme song. It kind of reminds you of their songs from Putt Putt Enters the Race and Pep's Burpee Surprise. Alright, just want to make sure it works properly. Look at Sister Bear here. They even animated the spots on her dress. I mean, on her blouse. And it's got MIDI music, too. Hello. Hmm, a giraffe. The Hanna Barbera poof effect. <sighs> Sister Bear. Picture. A train runs through it. Picture. There's some loud sound effects there. Picture. Okay. Lampshade. Lamp. Telephone. Just do it, just clicking on the hot spots for you. Rug. It was like, isn't it where Sister Bear can go? Logs. Yeah, this game was like 93 and 94, produced by, produced by Compton's New Media. Fireplace. Like this is one of our fir and this is one of the Berenstein Bears games I've had since I was real little, along with the Trophy. Living Books ones. Yeehaw! Jars. Jars. You got a cuckoo clock too. Clock. Oh yeah. This dog, this is Snuff. That's Snuff. Although Snuff was actually Cousin yeah, Freddy's dog in the books. Roll over. They can do different tricks. Ta-da! Yay! Look at that vintage recording of kids cheering. I don't know why they had Snuff beat their dog in this, like... In the books and in the 2003 TV series, they had Little Lady, a black and white female dog. That's snuff. So you, you can do different Here, tricks, boy. like I said. Sit. <laughs> it's kind of like Snoopy from Peanuts, the way he does all that. You know, the bears look kind of off-model in this game, but that's all right. It's still fun. Ta-da! Yay! <laughs> this stuff wasn't really like that in the books. That snuff. Here, boy. Showing you the different tricks, like... Speak. Oh, this is a good one. Speak. My fellow Americans. Let me just say this. Well, I'm not a crook. <laughs> I've Richard earned Nixon. everything I've got. <laughs> <laughs> so Snuff can actually talk, too. Ta-da! Yay! It's MIDI music by George Sanger, too. That's Snuff. Here, boy. Play dead. <laughs> Whoa. 
He's a gunshot sound effect too. Ta-da! Yeah, Yay! Creech Trick's sister goes ta-da, and then you hear that the kids cheering and clapping. That's snuff. <laughs> Here, boy. Fetch. <laughs> Good dog. Does a big show out of everything. <laughs> Ta da! Yay! All right, let's look around a little more. Books. A bookworm, I suppose. Took a little while for me to get this game working, but now it works fine. Came in, came in my post this morning. Books. <laughs> radio. An old style radio. Seven damage pressure. That sounded Television. realistic. What? That doesn't sound like a newscaster. A cat and mouse cartoon. Television. Hey, that doesn't look like a typical Baron Steam Bears character design either. Okay, let's see. I'll show you some of the different stuff we could do, like this. The telephone scene here. If you can't visit in person today, a phone call allows you to talk anyway. That's how I did it in the days before the for like instant messaging and email and all the uh, video conferencing stuff we have with computers. Use the telephone directory. Zero. Yo, oh, that ringer. Hi there, operator. May I help you place a call? Bear to bear or collect? So obviously that was a guy voicing her. Eight. It's called Actual Factual. He's the host of this Nine. game, and he always rhymes. He almost always rhymes as he speaks Eight. in this game. One. Seven. And get a little about his voice sounds compared to the animated shows. Hi, Actual Factual. It's an actual fact you must never forget. Power's most dangerous when you are wet. Yep. You can down aisle it, but to make it easier, I'll just do this. Actually, just a sec. I'm trying to. It's called Lizzie Bruin. Four, six, five, eight, four, seven, three. Is that? It always picks up after two rings. Hi there, Lizzie. Hi, this is Lizzie. Let's check our homework together. Yeah, she looks a little different. What's it this like? Nine. When you dial nine one one via the phone directory, one. you always get this type of answer. Ambulance bear. Don't call on us if you just want to play. Call only if someone needs help right away. That's, that's Nine. right. One. One. Hi, fireman bear. There's no time for chit chat, no time at all. A friend who needs help may be trying to call. Exactly. Nine. One. One. Yeah, this kind of taught me how to use the phone, actually, this game. And they, uh, and they still use the, the touch tones like that, Hi. too. Hi, police bear. Don't call on us if you just want to play. Call only if someone needs help right away. And they still use the number pads like that. Alright, let's call this character Bumblebear. Three. Five. Yes. Four, I don't really remember him seven, much, though. Three, six, two, 
Sister Bear's drawn pretty well here. Hi there, Bumbler Bear. It's very important to keep this in mind. Don't ever take pills that you happen to find. <laughs> yep. Oh, too tall. Two, four. Normally three, he's a bully, of course. Six, but in this two, game, he's more friendly. Five, one. Hi. Too tall. Hi, sis. I've got some new tunes. Want to hear them? <laughs> and that voice, I think, fits better with him than the one they used in the animated series. Let's see. Cousin Freddy. Seven. Nine. Eight. One. Seven. Zero. Six. Hi, Cousin Fred. Let me know when you're ready for another game of checkers. <laughs> Let's see if Actual Factual says something different each Eight, time you call. Zero. Nine. Two, it's got Mad Libs dialogue. Eight, one. Seven, dialogue comes from CD audio, because this is made as a mixed mode CD. Hi there, Actual Factual. When chords hang down on this depend, there's something hard at the other end. Hmm, talking about Farmer Ben, I imagine. Eight. Zero. Nine. Two. Eight. One. Seven. Hi there, Actual Factual. Electrical shocks are painful scares. Leave outlets and plugs to grown-up bears. Hmm, that's a good point. Yeah, this one, it's like the speed dial stuff. Eight. Zero. Nine. And it's two, before you call her ID eight, and stuff, because I remember one, growing up in this seven. type of era when I was a kid. Hi, actual factual. It's an actual fact you must never forget. Oh, we already heard Power's that. Power's most dangerous when you are wet. Alright, let's call Grizzly Gramps. Six. Eight. Seven. Zero. Six. Nine. Five. Hi, Grizzly Gramps. Well, hi there. How's my favorite fishing buddy? <laughs> yeah, there isn't any lip sync here. The, their mouths just constantly move like that. Oh, Grizzly Grand. One. Three. Two. Five, yeah, I remember I used one, to often like calling four, her because of what she zero. says here. Hi there, Grizzly Gran. Would you like to hear about your papa when he was a cub? <laughs> yep, that's Grizzly Gran in a nutshell. <laughs> Sorry, uh, I like remember Nine, the part and get the gimmies one, when they talked about one. when papa had to give me. Yeah, the ambulance bear is we like he's wearing woman, a female nurse Hi outfit. Hi there, ambulance bear. After an accident, you can help best by remaining calm, not by being distressed. Yeah, he has two different phrases. Nine, one, one. Ambulance bear. When somebody needs a hospital's care, my ambulance hurries all the way there. When we do this with the fire bear, we get fire safety Nine, tips. One. One. Hi there, fireman bear. When smoke's between you and the door, there's air to breathe down by the floor. Mm-hmm. That's for sure. Nine. One. One. I don't know why it's just not one of the regular fire Hi department's there, number. Fireman Bear. Fire drills help you to plan your escape. Learn two ways out and you'll be in good shape. I've got two ways out in my room. In case there's a fire. 
Nine. One. One. As I, as the wit, one of the windows goes right, can go right to the back deck. Hi there, Fireman Bear. When clothing's on fire, drop to the ground and smother the flames by rolling around. That's a good way to describe stop, drop, and roll in poem form. Oh, look at this. Like, Five, seven, six, nine, five, eight, four. Yeah, it's a little repetitive, but it's still fun. Hi there, great natural bear. Good day. I just noticed hummingbirds can fly backwards. <laughs> he looks kind of like he looks kind of like the like the big paw bear from the. Steam Bears the animated series. Except he had a more gruff voice in the cartoon. Nine. One. One. Hi there, police bear. Say no when a scheme is apparently wrong. You don't need to break any laws to belong. Mm. Nine. Yeah, there one, was a volume one of this one. game too, but like the bedroom and bathroom, but we didn't have that when I was young. We had volume two, which I'm playing here. Hi there, police bear. Suspicious activity at the back gate? Call the police. We'll investigate. Mm-hmm. Anyone we didn't call? Alright, I think we called everyone. But just sort of heck of it. Let's listen to Grizzly Graham Three. again. Two, five, one, four, zero. I like how zero is at a higher quality than the other number of sound bites. Hi, Grizzly Gran. Would you like to hear about your papa when he was a cub? <laughs> I just thought her voice sounded kind of funny there. <laughs> 